the big talk um, have been a lot of parents want to pull their children out of public school because a lot of people are waking up and starting to see what's really going on out here. But here's the thing. Um, everybody's situation is different. There are some people who are able to be at home. Parents are able to be at home with their children while others are not as fortunate um, because of working jobs. That's the fear now. Where is the security at, at these schools? Like my brother Kevin said on the comment, why, why are there no, no metal detectors? How is it they are able to keep shooting up schools? Something ought to sit in our mindset with that right there. But we know what time it is. See, it wasn't as, it wasn't as violent back in the day. You may have a couple of fights break out. But now, you got a lot of teachers who are scared of the students. Man, when I was coming up, teachers didn't fear their students. Matter of fact, teachers whooped us. But that was a different time. The coach whooped us. The principal whooped us. The counselor whooped us. The cafeteria lady whooped us. The janitor could whoop you. The piano teacher could whoop you. It didn't matter. You could get it back then. Wasn't nobody shooting the school up. But we see a different term and we see more and more violence. Teachers fighting students. Students fighting bus drivers. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. This is what we're living in. That's why a lot of parents, JT, my children, my children are not safe nowhere. They're not safe at school. So some are able to do that, while others, financially, are not able. See, it's easy to sit up and say, "Just pull your children out of the school system." It's easy to say that, but if you have not been prepared for that, how you just going? Oh, hey, I'm just going to snatch them out of school. I'm going to start teaching them at home. Now, put a pen right there. Think about it in our race of people. I'm not saying this to be funny. Look at how many single moms you got. Working hard, busting their butt. With no help. Some may have help with child support. But a lot of single mothers who want to homeschool, but they can't. Well, JT, that's their fault. They should have watched who they laid down with. You're going to get all kind of feedback on, on, on that type of answer right there. Response back, I mean. But it's hardworking women out here. It's hardworking men out here. It's hardworking people, period, who wake who waking up now, and they they making way to provide to get their children out of the, the system. You're going to continue to see this. But this is my little thoughts on this, y'all. A lot of people want to pull their children out of school, but their situation may not be like the next people. Versus, man, I, I took my kid out of school three years ago, four years ago, five years ago. Because when that thing happened in Uvalde, oh, man, however you say that, forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. What was that, about 15, 13, 14 students shot up? You can't even go to a, a elementary game now. You got parents acting all out at a football game, baseball game. You didn't think you was gonna see this type of stuff in your lifetime, did you? Some of some of y'all can say that, but it's here. It's like having fun now. It, it's you got to be very careful. You got to be cautious going on vacations. You got to be careful going to games, football games, truly. I mean, basketball, it's fights, it's violence, it's shootouts breaking out everywhere, which is putting a lot of fear in a lot of people. So it ain't the fact that some people don't want to homeschool. It's just they're not financially able and stable to do what they want to do, and they may be working toward it, 
you know. I heard, I heard a brother, they say, oh, man, I'm just excuses, man. If you really want to just pull your kids out of school, just pull them out of school. Pull them out just like that. It's just that easy. It may be that easy for you, but you don't speak for all, pa all parents. You don't know people's situation. They're just like wanting to move to the country and get out of the city. And you've been in the city all your life. You got to work toward that. What's your goals? What you going to put forward toward being able to go to the country, it ain't going to happen overnight. Especially if you live in paycheck to paycheck. Man, I want to grow my own food, man. I want to get out of the city. I want to find me some land. That's the problem when we don't come together right there. If we could come together, get along together, and buy up all this stuff just like they buying it up, <laughs> it would be a difference. But we know we living in. Just my little two cents. So y'all, give me y'all a little feedback on this video here about what's your take on homeschool versus public schooling. What have you done with your children? What do you do? What are you doing? Love y'all. Have a blessed day.